Hey everybody, in this video I'll be giving you my thoughts about the modern age setting from Green Ronin. Green Ronin, or Green Ronin, was really awesome and sent us a lot of books to check out, different systems, and it was really nice of them. One of the ones that I'm really excited about was that we got a bunch of the modern age books, and so I spent a little bit of time with the basic rule book to get a feel for the system and the world and how it works. I've played a lot of different modern setting fantasy TTRPGs, and I I really enjoy them. There's something about the modern setting that I think is a lot of fun. We're familiar with it, but then it's a little bit different. And honestly, sometimes it's nice to take care of some of the prep by just running to Walmart real quick and picking up what it is that you need. There are quite a few modern settings out there. So what is it that makes modern age so different and a setting that I really like? If you're familiar with the age system, then Modern Age is going to feel pretty similar to what you've played in the past. But it is different enough from Fantasy Age or Dragon Age that it's not just a reskin. Okay, so it will feel unique, it will feel new and interesting, and be just different enough that if you've played the Fantasy Age setting, you'll probably need to really pay attention to how some of the things work to make sure you're not falling into old habits. The age system is a 3d6 system and I think that that's really cool. Basically almost everything that you do is happening with three six-sided dice and you'll want two dice that look the same and one die that looks different. So you know two yellow dice and one red die or two white die and one blue die something like that because that different colored die is your stunt die. And the stunt mechanic of the age system, which is in full force in modern age, really sets it apart and is a lot of fun. There are a few different ways that you generate stunt points and a way that you can use your stunts, whether they're action stunts or stunts during exploration or even social situations. And I definitely suggest that you pick up the book and take a look at all of that. But to give you the, the simplest explanation, the basics of how stunting works is anytime you throw all three dice, if you get doubles, the number on the special stunt die is how many points you have. So if you roll and let's say you get um, double twos and a five, well that means that you've stunted and you have five stunt points to spend in this situation. And you can stack different stunts as long as they don't um, work against each other. It's really neat and it's pretty straightforward. And there's a lot of, when there are a few other ways that you can earn stunt points, but that's pretty well explained in the book. The thing that I think is the coolest about the modern age system is that it has three different game modes and those three different modes affect things and the way that you play the game, either as the game master or as the players. And those three modes are gritty, pulp and cinematic. Think of it this way. If you're playing in a gritty game, it's pretty realistic as far as taking damage and how your toughness might negate some damage, and how many people you can fight at a time and how well you heal. If you're playing in a cinematic setting, well then you are the action hero and you can soak up punches and stabs and get shot without being immediately taken out all while you're beating up 17 different bad guys John Wick style. Pulp lives nicely right in the middle, like a like a, a pulp action figure, where yeah, you're gonna get beat up and bruises and, and, and a broken lip and a busted nose, but you'll still be able to do some kind of heroic things every once in a while. For me, the pulp is a really great middle ground and probably where I will end up running most of my modern age games, including the fun modern age game that I have cooking up here as a stream. So make sure that you're paying attention to find out when that comes out. 
A big thanks to all of our patrons, but especially to Tucker. If you like what we do here and you want to be a direct part of making this happen, then head over to patreon.com slash roll for initiative and check out the perks of being a patron. Modern Age is a classless system, so you're not picking up a class in Street Samurai or Hacker or something like that. Instead, you're focused on your profession and your background. And these add bonuses to your character, to your abilities, your ability focus, and your talents. The focus is really neat. It's kind of like your ability might be in intelligence, but then your focus would be in computers. This also sets the tone for expectation, your class, how you interact with other people, and how other people interact with you. Maybe you're a middle-class tradesman that likes to tinker on projects in her garage. Or you could be an upper-class socialite that lives off of mommy and daddy's corpo money in order to fund your social media empire. Or perhaps you're an outcast bohemian that likes to put up anti-government art installations in the middle of the night. All of these have a lot of different options, the way that they affect your character and the way that others see you. There are some drawbacks, not really drawbacks, just uh, changes in the way that other people interact with you, as well as some of the bonuses that you get. And I think that the class of the system in this case for modern age works pretty nicely. There are other classless things that I find make it difficult to level up and change and grow and get more powerful as you go along the campaign. In Modern Age, I don't think that that's going to be an issue. Now, these characters might not end up being the world-saving uh, demigods that you get in some fantasy RPG games, but they do improve and they get better at what it is that they do. And I think that that's great, especially for a modern setting. Even though it's called modern, it doesn't have to be the world right now. There are some really cool outlines and notes and guides within the rulebook to help you play a game set during the Age of Sail or Victorian era or the Wild West or pulp horror or southern gothic or the industrial revolution or steampunk as well as a little bit of slightly futuristic or just right now. So for me that's really great and modern age, the modern part of there, is really to set it apart from the different types of fantastical settings that are out there. In the basic rulebook, humans are the only option. It's sort of the world that we live in pretty closely. And magic doesn't really exist. Now, in the basic rulebook, there is a section for magic, either arcane magic or uh, I think like uh, psychic magic, that's what it is. But honestly, it almost feels like the writers of the book were like, okay, fine, if you want a little bit of magic, here you go, you can do that. But not in a condescending way, like I just sounded. It works. Magic is not baked into this world the same way that magic is baked into some other modern settings like World of Darkness, Powered by the Apocalypse, uh, Shadowrun, games like that. In supplemental books, they do introduce other types of ancestries like dwarves and elves and orcs, as well as really flesh out the world of magic and how you can incorporate that. But at the same time, it never feels like if you eschew magic and only have humans, that you're missing out on something. It clearly was designed that if you don't have any of that stuff, it's still a complete, fully fleshed out, fun world to play in. And I think that that's great. Lastly, just like Fantasy Age, the book is really good at not just giving you charts and numbers and character creation and telling you how to play the game, but really talking about how to be a good player and GM and part of the game. The folks at Green Ronin really seem to value fun and respect as core values for all of the games that they put out. And Modern Age is 
exactly the same in that regard. There are sections of the book that aren't just about rules, but also talk about conflict resolution, session zero, safety tools, communication, improv, and all of that stuff is great because it doesn't just teach you how to play this game. It teaches you how to be a good part of the table, a member of the community, someone that other people want to play with, no matter what that capacity or system is. And I really love the fact that that is at the heart of so much of what Green Ronin puts out. For me, Modern Age is a book definitely worthy of a spot on your gaming shelf. Have you played Modern Age? Have you played some of the other Age settings and were curious about Modern Age? Let me know what you think and let's have that conversation down in the comments below. Thanks a lot. My name is Ryan and I'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.